people have no clue. Everybody that came up here did not know their nationality according to the Bible. That's right. It's a bad thing because you can figure out who you are right now. Bring it up, brother. Huh? Hey, bro, come, come holler at me for about five, ten minutes, bro. That's all. Give me a good ten minutes of your time, bro. This will be the best investment that you done made all day, I guarantee you. That's right. What time it come? You early? Okay, check one of those flowers out, bro. Give me Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Read. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib. So, hey, bro, ox is a dumb animal. An ass is another dumb animal. So an ox know his owner, he know his source, he know his God, his power. An ass know his homeland when he get lost. But, Breathe. but Israel do it not know. My people do it not consider. Israel don't know. They people don't consider. Hey, give me uh, no bad, bro. Nehemiah 10 and 31. He said he's gonna go catch the bus. According to the Bible, bro, you don't supposed to be spending money today. You don't supposed to be buying transportation. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Read. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wear and any visuals on the Sabbath day to sell, so you don't supposed to be buying and selling, read. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath day. So, hey, brother, right there. I noticed you was up, bro. Let me show you something about that shirt you got on. Give me Luke 1 and 68. Look it up. Because God did redeem us, but he didn't redeem everybody. So it's important to know your nationality because the Bible is only for a certain nation of people. That's right. So we say, I am redeemed by what? The sacrifice? By his sacrifice? So anybody can't wear that shirt. Well, anybody can wear it, but redemption is not for everybody. That's right. Some people can put that shirt on and it would be a false statement according to the Bible. We've been taught to believe that Christ came for everybody. But listen to this. This Luke chapter 1 verse 68 reads. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The Lord God of Israel read. For he has visited and redeemed his people. Oh, everybody. His people. Oh, the Chinese man. His people. Did you hear that? Read that again. Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Listen Come good, on. bro. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Read. For he has visited and redeemed his people. So you know who his people is? Me. Do you know? Yeah, that's true. But what, what nationality is God's people, though? What nation? Huh? Listen, listen, bro. It says he visited and redeemed his people. Give me Psalms 135, verse 12. Bring it up. We're going to let the Bible answer. Because unlike these so-called Christian pastors, they will give you a sermon. They will hold the Bible, shaking the Bible, and never read it all Sunday. That's why you love saying, Pastor said, Rev Reverend said. But what about the Bible said? So let's see who the Bible said his people live. So you ain't going to walk away saying them Israelites said. When you walk away saying something, you lying up here, you going to walk away saying the Bible said. Right. 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 Read. Right. Psalms, Read. chapter 135, verse 12. Read. And gave the land for an inheritance, inheritance Listen. unto Israel, his people. To who? Israel, oh. his people. Hold on, everybody. To who? Oh. Israel, his people. Oh, who is his people, bro? Oh. According to the Bible. Listen. Oh. What the Bible just say? All the descendants of Israel. Unto who? Hold on, read that again. Unto who? Unto Israel, his people. So who is his people? Who? What the Bible say? The Bible didn't just say us. I want you to repeat what you hear. 
so I can understand that you heard what's being said. You follow? When you say us, you right, but what's your nationality? You gotta answer. What would you say your nationality was? Now I need a response from you now. Is that, I mean, why? Because you don't know, right? You know what they told you. See, that's why I'm saying, when you say, that, that's good. I feel you, and I'm saying you right to an extent. I want you to be right in knowing something, not just thinking something. So when you say us, but you don't know your nationality, that's where you can go wrong in. So when you say us, his people, it's time to read Psalm 135, 12 again. Listen to what the Bible say, read. Psalms 135, verse 12. Read. And gave their land for an inheritance, an inheritance unto Israel, his people. Who is his people? All the sinners of Israel. What did the Bible just say? Israel, his people. Not just the descendants of Israel, because the people that descended oh, yeah. from, that, that was Israel too. Yeah. So it's Israel as a nation. Right. So that's who his people is. So now give me Luke 1 and 68, because that's what your shirt say. It say, I am redeemed by his sacrifice. So now let's see who he redeemed according to the Bible. You can only wear that shirt because you were Israelite. Right? That's right. You can't pass that shirt to an Ishmaelite and they wear it like it's all good. You can't pass that shirt to an Edomite and they wear it like it's all good. You can't throw John 3.16 on that shirt and make it mean everybody like it's all Bring good. Bring it out, huh? Bring it out. You see what I'm saying? So listen, Luke, this Luke, the New Testament, chapter 1, verse 68, read up. Bless it, Luke. Chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So he is starting out by telling you who he the God of. Of Israel, read. For he hath visited and redeemed. And what? And redeemed. And what? And redeemed. You look, you see it? So he visited and what? Redeemed read. his people. So who he redeemed? All uh, Israel. Here, no, what does verse say? Just, just, re just repeat the verse so I can know you get it. He visited and what? And redeemed, and redeemed his people. He redeemed who? His people. His people, right. So who is his people? All Israelites. Right. According to Psalms 135, 12, his people Israel. So you got a better understanding of what your shirt means. So read that verse again. I'll pray. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Read. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. Everybody. His people. The white man. His people. The so-called Chinese man. His people. The so-called white man. His people. The so-called Arab. Of his Israel. people. No, it, those different nations. You know, God divided the nations. Give me some rock 17 and 17. God divided the nations. He divided people. Why you think everybody don't look alike? You don't think if everybody was his... He said he made you out of the dust of the ground. He said, let us make a people, the people that he breathed life in, they look like him in his image and his likeness. So you can prove that you his people according to the Bible. Right. For one, his people look like him. Do everybody got brown skin and willy hair? So once upon a time, all the Israelites did until they start mixing and mingling with different nations. But you are what your father is. That's why they have characteristics of other nations in them. But they still are Israelites though. Right. So God's people look like him. But he divided the nations. Read, listen to this. Ecclesiasticus chapter 17, verse 17. Ecclesiasticus chapter 17, verse 17. Read. For in the divisions of the nations. Hear that? In the division of the nation, read. Of the whole earth. Of all the nations on the earth, read. He said a ruler over every people. So every different people got their own ruler. God is the ruler of Israel, but can you read? But Israel is the Lord's portion. Israel is his portion. Give me Deuteronomy 4 and 19. Listen, that's why the other nations worship the stars. God, remember it just said he said a ruler over them, right? Yeah. So let's see, watch this, do the run, so at least you be like them. That's the God of the, uh, they showing you who they God is. This ain't the same God of the Bible right here. Right. But it's over here what? In our community. They don't live over here. The 
they got stones and stuff over here though. The God of this Bible is not their God. So listen to what the Bible say, read. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 19. Read. At least thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven. So unless you lift your eyes unto heaven, and what? Read. And when thou seest the sun. Unless you see the sun right there. And what? And the moon. And what? And the stars. And read. Even all the host of heaven. Read. Should it be driven to worship them. Like Allah and them, they driven to worship their moon, their crescent moon. Like the sun on the channel flag. Different nations, they see the power of God and they driven to worship. You see what I'm saying? That's the ruler he set over them. Keep reading. And serve them. Read. Which the Lord thy God have divided unto all nations. You see that? When he divided all nations, remember he said he set a rule over oh, each oh. one of them. That ain't our God. He still rule over us. Though. He our God. Give me uh, Joel 2 and 27. Oh. Yeah, he our God. He ain't the but listen what the Bible say. So do they teach you that God change? They tell you that God don't change in the Christian church, right? I'm sure a lot of them they know how to quote that, but they beliefs don't match up with what they call themselves teaching. So listen to what it says. He our God according to the Bible. He only our God. Yes, right. Read, listen. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. Read. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. So you hear that? The God of this Bible, if you looking for him, he is in the midst of who? Of Israel. Of the nation of Israel. Yes, right. And people love saying, God so powerful. Why? If he had all power, he could just come down and talk to me then. <laughs> Wake up, man. He's showing you he dealing with a certain people. He's showing you. He, bruh, he's showing you he's dealing with a certain people. Hey, give me Nehemiah 10 and 31 again. Hold on, bruh. Nehemiah 10. Hey, come holler at me, bruh. Come holler at me right quick, bruh. Listen in. Nehemiah, this is the Bible right here, chapter 10, verse 31. Read. Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31 Read. and if the people of the land bring where and any visuals on the Sabbath day to sell Read. that we will not buy that you we hear that bro so on the Sabbath day you're not supposed to buy brother so remember that next sentence start that over Read. Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31 and if the people of the land bring work and any visuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So we not supposed to, that's people on the land. You got Arabs, Chinese, Africans, they over here in our community selling us stuff. Keeping us in sin. Give me Judah chapter five, verse 17. Let me tell you something they know. You might think it ain't nothing. Why? I, why is it so important to keep the commandments? Because God going to fight for you. Yeah. That's right. Bro, how you think they came over here on, on the uh, coast of Africa and got a nation of people? Look at how we built up. Look at our basketball stars out. Who dominating the sports world? But Us. Mentally, though. Who, made, we dominate who really made mentally. America great again? Us. Exactly. Okay, that's, praise, that's, that's, that's only because we don't dominate mentally. No, listen, no. I mean, I want you to understand the whole truth behind it. Because you can go thinking, dominate mentally, now you're trying to go get a degree. This, give me Joshua 1 and 8, bro. This is the, the phenomenal, the fundamental basics of being a successful nation. That's what I mean by mentally. I don't mean like education wise, I'm just mean as far as the truth, period. What they, is they, the they, truth, they, though? They brought us over and they, they built us up physically. Far as labor, but listen, but listen, but, but our listen. minds were not where it was to, to to rule. Yeah, let's get back to the basic fundamentals. So when it comes to being successful as a nation, the Bible give you what to do. Just like if something break down on your car, what you gonna do? Go if it ain't no mechanic, what is you looking for? The shop. The instructions, bro. The the, the instruction manual. Yeah. It teach you how to do. Just cause you can't do it, that don't mean you don't know what to look to. First, you gotta start off knowing how to fix the problem, right? Yeah. You go to the mechanic, why? Because you he trust, knows. 
he know how to follow the instructions. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So if it wasn't no, that, that what the Bible is. When stuff go wrong, God showed us what we need to do to get stuff back right again. Right. Right. All right. That's what repent means. Return. If the Bible is only given to you, how can another nation repent? They can't never come back to God because God was never dealing with them. Yeah. Right. We can repent. We can return to God. Back to them and be redeemed. Repurchased. He ain't never dealt with the other nations. He ain't never bought the other nations. You got it? So Joshua 1 and 8, this is what we need to return to. Now I'm going to show you another script to read. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Read. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. This book of mathematics. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. This book of uh, uh, trigonometry. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. This book of the philosophies of uh, Harvard University. This book of the law shall oh. not depart out of thy mouth. So for one, when you say the knowledge, that's a broad thing. So when you want to be sure that it's like if, if, if you shoot, like you can see that cloud right there. If you shoot at that cloud, you so far away, you got to have pinpoint accuracy when you shoot there so far. Because by the time it get there, bro, it's, 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 it's a broad area. So, like, I know what you mean, but, like, when you go into people, see, like, when you say something to uh, up here, brothers up here, we like, yeah, that's right. But we can't tell you that because to you it's a field. See, we, we got a lot of knowledge under our belt when it comes to the Bible. We say, yeah, that's right according to Malachi 2 and 7. So when you say the knowledge, we say in Malachi 2 and 7, talking about knowledge, but other people may be talking about University is talking about knowledge. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So you got to know how to be accurate. So the first thing going to be keeping the commandments. That's right. So this book of the law should not depart from your mouth. Read. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. So what meditate means? Just like I've been talking and talking and just making sure it's sinking. Not just, give me that. Hey, give me that scripture. Give me that. I can call a hundred scriptures. But what good is that if you walking away and none of it soaked in? You see what I'm saying? Read that again. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. The, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Read. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. So meditate day and night. So if I say every nation ain't redeemed, that's something you got to meditate on because we've been taught that life for so long you gonna have people coming to you saying, uh-huh, this scripture say that, but they ain't gonna know what it means. So you gotta study. You gotta meditate in the laws, cause keeping the laws is gonna be the first thing that gonna cause you to get understanding when you born again, right? That's right. And I shall meditate therein day and night right. that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. You see that? So not only do you have the law, what else did it say? Observe to do all that's written therein. So did her go a formula this coming up? A formula for success. A formula for success. Look, we all say we want to be successful. Be the next big rapper, the next big basketball star, the next doctor, or whatever. Her go the formula for success. But we not we not basing it on this Bible scripture though. We basing it on Walking up and down the block, dribbling the ball through your legs a hundred times. Doing all uh, calf exercises. That's our formula for success. Be so good at basketball, uh, pastor will call me out of history test when she get that hard as exam. You see what I'm saying? That ain't the formula for success. Read, read that again from uh, observe to do all that's reading her in. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Read. For then. Hold on. For then. So after you get the law, after you meditate, after you observe it to do all the stuff written in it, then what? Thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Read. And then thou shalt have good success. Read. 
So that's what that's the whole time people lacking this knowledge. Give me Hosea 4 and 6. Bring it up. Bring it up. scripture. They love quoting in church. They, they, they ain't number like inspirational quotes. They might as well come at the church and just get a, 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 a bumper stick of business or something. Cause they ain't breaking it down. They just throwing you inspirational quotes. They might well just come down out the pool pit, put that inspirational quote on the license plate, and sell them off bumper stickers or something. Quit misleading our people. Right. Read, read. Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Read. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You heard that? You heard that in your church before, too, wasn't you? Yeah, yeah. Me, too. I grew up in a church, bro. I was a deacon, a so called deacon, when I was nine. It's funny to us up here, bro. You don't want to see our deacons. You don't want to. The average so called Christian pastor don't want to see the brothers up here six months and up. For real, bro. So read that again. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So we love saying that. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So what's the knowledge? Because the uh, officer just was going over this with you when you was up here. You remember what he said? About the priest. Yeah. All right, give me Malachi 2 and 7 again. Bring it out. So, so this the sign where he was at. He started off at uh, Hosea 4 and 1 when the Lord got a controversy with the inhabitant because there's no knowledge in the land. Right. So now, because it's our people, it's so important, our people destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So because ain't no knowledge in the land, our people destroyed. So what knowledge is he talking about again? Let's get it out the Bible. This is Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. Read. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. Read. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So when you looking for knowledge, you go to the priest's lips. Yeah. According to the Bible. So this is referring to how it's supposed to be found. So the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So the same thing that in his mouth is what? Coming from off his lips. So read that again. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So what's the knowledge? The, his, the priest's lips should keep knowledge. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So what's the knowledge? Wow. Yeah. I'll pray. So the knowledge is the law. Go back to Hosea 4 and 1. I'll pray. That's what they supposed to do in church. They ain't teach, like he said, it's prosperity preach, preaching. How many of y'all can do the centipede up to the past, to the altar and throw up a hundred dollars at your mouth when you get here? It's a day, a moment of silence now when they pass in the plate around. Why? Because they don't want to hear no change rattling. They got moment of silence when you pass the plate around. When Christ just sat up there and said the woman that put two mice in to put more than everybody in. But these so-called pastors now, it's a moment of silence. They don't want to hear no chain, no pennies, nurgles. That could have been your last two pennies. That's all they worry about. But you, when you come to church, you feeling bad because you ain't got no money to put in. Right. They put Sister Lovegale on the uh on the most wanted for not tithing list. Right. Tithes and I ain't even for them. Listen, bro, give me Hosea 4 and 1 again. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You see that? That's Hosea 4 and 6. Give me Hosea 4 and 1. Hosea chapter 4 verse 1. Hear the words of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Read. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. So the people that inhabit the land, he said, he showed you how the Bible said the Most High got a controversy or a problem with people that's inherit, inhabiting this land. Hey, bro, you got about 10 minutes? 10, 10 minutes, 5 minutes. You can stand over there in the shade and listen. Right there, right there? What's your, what's your nationality, bro? So, yeah, you, this is the Holy Bible right here. You read the Holy Bible? You an atheist? You an atheist? Proverbs 14 and 1. That's 14 and 1. Uh, yeah. Psalms 14 and 1. Listen to this, bro. So, listen to this. Read. 
Psalms chapter 14 and verse 1. Read. The fool have said in his heart, there is no God. You hear that? The Bible say, the, why do you not believe in God? That's something that the Bible say, the fool has said in his heart. So what you believe in? Myself. You believe in yourself? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, you, you gonna live forever? You just gonna live on this existence? Everybody gotta die. Yeah, but everybody don't gotta be uh, done away with forever. Give me John 316. Every, listen. I so love the word gave us so that probably got no No, you don't, cause you quoted it. You know what it's, you know words. You know, when they teach you in school, I'm gonna show you my under, your understanding of this verse. They teach you letters, yeah. which are alphabets. Yeah. You put alphabets together to form words, right? right. And you put words together <laughs> to put, to uh, form what? Sentences. sentences. So what's a sentence? A statement. Uh, nah, a sentence is what? A group of words put together to express a complete thought. Which is the same as a statement. Bruh, no, because it's different things for all other statements. You can have commands, you can have statements can be okay, a sentence okay, or okay, command. Okay. You got okay. imperative, uh, superlative, you got it yeah. follows a different like I said, you gotta be accurate. You don't wanna throw a category when you're looking for some specific. See what I'm saying? So a sentence will be a group of words put together to express a complete thought. You don't understand a complete thought that's being expressed in John 316. Because if you knew you could get everlasting life, you wouldn't be saying, I, I'm going to just die. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? You don't understand that. That's if I knew. That, exactly. And it's no problem with that, bro. And I'm not bashing you for not knowing. I'm trying to get Nobody to you. Knows. I'm trying to reason with you. Nobody knows. So the Bible, people do the know. The dead know. Listen, bro. Listen, let's stay. Oh, I'm trying not to junk topics. Okay. So according to you said, I know that. Woo woo, but God so woo 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 woo, ba do the boo, shadu ba do ba do boo wop, boo wop, bam boom. You know what I'm saying? For real though. But in that sentence, it said you can have everlasting life. So if you understood that complete thought, you wouldn't be out here saying, I believe in myself and I just die. Give me words of Solomon 2 and 23. This is about, this is why God made you and it's good to embrace the qualities He got. To love yourself, to love your wool and hair. God made you like him. To love your brown skin. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He made you like him, so it's good to embrace that God made you in his image. But he didn't make you. Listen to listen to why. Listen to why he made you, bruh. Listen to this, Ree. For God created the power of scripture and verse. Wisdom of Sodom, chapter 2, verse 23. Read. For God created man to be immortal. Bam! <laughs> is you immortal? Yeah, he created you to be immortal though. Do you want to live to that full potential? Yes, you do, bro. Don't lie to yourself. If it was possible, let me put it like that. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Okay. Now, now we get somewhere. See, you see what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. I'm talking about, and I ain't talking about in destruction. I'm talking about in the fullness of what you was created to do. Yeah. Not just live forever in torment or nothing yeah. like that. You see what I'm saying? All right, so read, read that again. Wisdom of Solomon chapter two, verse 23. But God created man to be immortal read. and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Bruh, just like when you live, we said make man in his own image. You read that in Genesis, he created you to be a reflection of his own immortality. Not only did you supposed to have will and her like him, brown skin, he gave Adam dominion. You know what that means? Dominion means rulership. If God ruling and you ain't ruling, you ain't in his reflection. He made you That's to be right. though, That's right. but you not. Because God is key, he ruled over, uh, over heaven, over his heaven. So he made that we supposed to be a reflection of him. We supposed to be the rulers on this earth. That's right, right. Just like he ruled in heaven. Right. He made us to be immortal. Keep reading. For God created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Read. Nevertheless, Read. through envy of the devil came death unto the world. Read See that? Hello.
home is I'm Elton Nathaniel. Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.